In the 2025 FreeBSD community survey, when asked what hosting provider people used for running FreeBSD, the top three answers were, unsurprisingly, at number one, AWS, number two was Vulture, and number three was German hosting provider Hetzner. Now, the interesting thing about Hetzner is FreeBSD has not been a supported operating system there for some time. And if you do a search around the internet for instructions on how to run FreeBSD on Hetzner, you'll find a couple of really quite convoluted articles. However, it's not actually that hard anymore. Thanks to the efforts of community member Wolfram Schneider, the FreeBSD boot ISOs are available at Hetzner, and it's actually quite easy to do an installation. So let's take a look at just how easy it is. Here we are in the Hetzner dashboard, and we're going to create a new server. Of course, this assumes that you have a Hetzner account already. One of the things I recommend before we continue is set yourself up a firewall and also add an SSH key because we will get prompted for those during the server creation. So let's create an actual server. From create resource, choose servers. Now, it doesn't matter which image we pick because we're going to wipe it in a moment. Select the type. I'm going with an AMD shared CPU. Uh, don't forget to pick our SSH key and our firewall and then name it something useful. Hit create and buy. And we have to wait just a moment for the server creation to finish so that we can attach an ISO to it. Once we've got the server created notification, we can click on it to go into its details. And looking along these menus, you will see ISO images. Choose that, go to the search box, type FreeBSD, and there we have our ISO. Choose mount, and once that's attached, we can pull up a console and reboot the host again, booting from the FreeBSD installation medium. Okay, we'll just go through a standard install. I'll let this zoom through, but basically I just take the defaults on almost everything. Yes, I'm going to add my ordinary user. I'm gonna add myself into wheel because that's really useful, as you'll see in just a moment. One thing I tend to do if ever I'm doing an interactive install like this is right at the end when it asks if you'd like to do any final manual modifications to the system you've installed, I say yes. And I just add a couple of packages in that I know I'm going to want later on. Those couple of things give me a good grounding to bootstrap the system with something like Ansible. Now, before we reboot, we're going to want to unmount the ISO, otherwise it's just going to boot from the installer again. There we go, let's unmount. And that should be our system booting. Let's check and see if we can actually get into it. Ta-da! FreeBSD up and running on Hetzner.